Michelle Lavani of Michelle Lavani Art. In this video, you're going to see me creating a small piece of artwork, which is an adjustment for me because I am used to working large with my murals and large paintings, but I'm creating smaller pieces because right now I'm on the road. So I'm trying to create smaller pieces so that I can do something on a weekly basis. They'll be available for purchase at the end um, and as well as in print. Uh, the originals will be available for purchase and they'll also be available in print. I gotta, I gotta get the whole editing thing down with this video stuff. Before we start on that part of the video, I wanted to share with you a little bit about um, how I paint on the go. Many of you already know that I like to have my easel with me in tote so that I can do plein air painting, painting outdoors, trying to catch the moments. Um, not necessarily always with a camera, but with uh, my art supplies in hand. It's not always practical to have your easel with you. I understand that. I've created some grab and go bags that I can store in the car and have them with me when I'm working on a small project. Now, that is not necessarily appropriate for things like paints and things like that. Uh, you're going to want something that's going to have a shorter drying time. I'm going to share with you a little bit about my grab-and-go package, what I used when I was uh, creating the, the artwork for today. So simply, the Ziploc bag because it keeps everything safe. I can stick it in the glove box of my car if I need to, and I can take it with me. I can pull it out. I can go to a coffee shop. Um, you know, I could, I could be in a doctor's office in the waiting room, no mess, everything's there with me. Rather than surfing the internet, I've got something creative to do. So let me just explain to you what was in this particular grab and go bag. One of my favorite things <clears throat> currently are the ink tense pencils. These are awesome. They are water soluble, although I, I'm using an extender in my bag instead of a, a water, because water is a little messy, the extender is a little less. Um, anyway, this is a small set, set of 12. It's easy to tote and go. Inside of my ink tents container, I have folded up a piece of palette paper so that I have something for blending on. That way I can grab and go. I put it in the lid, I have my pencils laid out, I have this on it, I put my flow medium on it. Speaking of flow medium, I'm currently using Golden Open Thinner which is traditionally used with Golden Open Paints. Um, which is what I use for plein air painting. But as an extender, this works really well with other water-soluble mediums. Um, and I just really like the tiny little bottle and the effect that it gives me. Um, it's a little more controlled than, let's say, water, so I don't have to worry about it going all over the place. But this prevents brush drag, so this is a great thing to have. The other thing that I always have with me Again, Derwent. I'm a huge fan. Derwent drawing pencils. They're also water soluble. I have my sharpener right here. I put my um, wood shavings in here while I'm working and then I toss them. But these are my water soluble drawing pencils. So this gives me a, a good way to lay out my drawing um, uh, before I start with my colors. And then, as far as paper is concerned, you can get these nice little packets um, from Crescent. They're watercolor boards. You can get them in hot press and cold press, currently using hot press, um, but they're acid-free papers. You can get them in different sizes. I don't believe they're available any longer in this size, but they, they do have a little bit larger, which is five by seven, which I think I'd rather have, but I have a whole lot of these. Um, 
in these packets uh, it, because they do have uh, a few different sizes. My suggestion if you're doing grab and go, don't go bigger than an 8x10. In fact, just don't do 8x10. 8x10 is kind of boring. I think so anyway. Um, I've never liked 8x10. You, you'll never see me paint an 8x10. I'll just say that right now. You won't. I hate it. I hate 8x10 photos. I hate 8x10. It's just a piece of paper. Get a, get a different size. So these ones right here, small little pack. You can carry one sheet with you, just like that. All right, um, and then the next thing, because I do like to blend, like I said, my pencils, um, the colored pencils are great if you just want to color with them, yes, but to truly use them correctly, you want to either add water or add a solvent, uh, a water-soluble solvent. And so to do that, you would also need a brush. Well, we're working small. This is traditionally not what I would use in a large painting, but for grab and go, it's great. This is a makeup brush and it's retractable. So, that way it holds its shape. It's all complete in one. It's great for working small because the size is right. So, that's what's in my grab and go bag. <clears throat> Put together a grab and go bag for yourself, you know, and 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 take things with you. You know, you'll be more inspired to draw, uh, and um, it's good for kids too. You know, yeah, we do crayons and coloring pages and things like that. But put together something unique and special for them. Let them try out new types of items besides just crayons. Crayons are great, but there are other art supplies out there that even children would. Um, benefit. I know I did when I was a kid. Anyway, <clears throat> before we start the, the actual picture part, I guess I should show you what I did. So this is what I'm working on today. And at the end of this video, it will be available for purchase, the original and prints. If you receive the original, you get a nice little map on top of it. So that's what I'm doing today. So I hope you enjoy this video. Again, I apologize for the amateur style of videography. I'm an artist, I'm not a videographer. I'm learning though. So if you have any tips for me, let me know. And when you get to the end of the video, please thumbs up, share it, subscribe. It would really help an artist out. I would really appreciate it. So, hope your day goes well today. Thanks. Mm -hmm.